Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody has a great day. It is Saturday night. It is the weekend. The Dallas Cowboys are now finished the preseason. Oh, my goodness. Um, we've got some news on Jerry Jones about Trey Lance and about moves that we are talking about, of course, with the Cowboys. Um, now comes the hard work, of course. The Cowboys are going to cut down to the 53-man roster, and they're going to put some guys out on waivers and hope that they can clear so they can bring them back. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, in this game, um, I'll be 100% real. We had the live stream going. We had it as a member call in, and I didn't watch it as close as I would like to. But I will say that a couple of people that definitely stood out was the Deuce was loose. Deuce Vaughn, who had problems with his hamstring early on in training camp and needed to get the work in, I think has made his place to be the number three uh, running back. He literally looked that good. I think he averaged about 8.2 yards a carry tonight. Now, understand, this is not against the big boys. This is literally against some guys that won't be on NFL rosters or will be going to other teams and so on. This isn't, <clears throat> this isn't of course, the primo offenses, I mean defenses that you're facing and things. And these also, too, aren't game plan games as well. But he has looked really, really good and gives you hope of being that gadget guy who can literally hide behind the offensive lineman and literally pop through and squirt through the holes and things. He has looked really, really good. And also, Ryan uh, Fauntleroy. Ryan Fauntleroy has two touchdown passes the last two weeks and looks like a guy that you hope that the Cowboys find a way to bring him back. I'm afraid if they put him on waivers that somebody's going to snap him up, snap him up, and that you're going to lose him. So um, hopefully the Cowboys do right by both of those guys and give them some more opportunities. Trigger Trey, Trey Lance, Trey Lance. Um, yeah, Jerry Jones says Trey Lance has done enough to earn longer time on the Cowboys roster that he's not going anywhere and so on and doubles down on the move that they made with him when asked about other moves that the Cowboys might be making because of course we are talking about losing Deron Bland they feel comfortable or at least Jerry says they feel comfortable with the team as it's currently constructed his whole thing was we were looking for some big man and we got Linvell, Joseph, and Fields that this is it. This is the team. This is the team that we have and they feel good about. It. I've heard nothing about CD or contract wise. I want you guys somewhere in your mind, or if you want to put a footnote or favorite this video I want you all to remember right here where we are the 24th the 24th I think it is of August where we are right now we lose an all-pro cornerback there's no thought of looking for anybody else to come fill in we have a quarterback who we traded a fourth round draft pick for, who threw five interceptions, five interceptions. I don't believe anybody else has thrown five in one game. I'm not sure that anybody else has thrown five the whole preseason. Who's had a flash here and there, who can run the football, and people will say, oh man, he's a dual threat. Yeah, dual threat, mm. yeah. For those of you out there that thought that Trey Lance was going to be the answer for Dak Prescott, you're probably the same guys that thought that Andy Dalton 
was going to be the answer for Dak Prescott. And it's crazy because all these years, that every year it's a new hottie that we hear is better from Carson Wentz and Justin Herbert, uh, Deshaun Watson. You want to talk about bad contracts. Um, Deshaun Watson, mind you, is getting $63 million this year. We're crying about a $40 million hit next year with Dak. But there's 63 next year, hard 63 for Deshaun Watson, and a hard 63 the following years. Three years of 63 plus million dollars for Deshaun Watson. Ain't nobody batting an eye. Ain't nobody saying shit. I remember when people said they'd take Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold over Dak Prescott. Kyler Murray over Dak Prescott. Here's the reality. We keep trying to say, we can just replace Dak. Well, good luck with that. The way the Cowboys are managing this thing, sometimes I wonder if it's just dumb luck when it comes to quarterback. Romo wasn't drafted. It wasn't like they said, this is the guy we're targeting, and we know we're going to be able to get him undrafted. You know, it wasn't like they were saying, this is the guy we want when they tried to trade up for Paxton Lynch and then Connor Cook. He was basically the only guy left. If the Cowboys don't, and they, they don't have to get CeeDee Lamb done, CeeDee Lamb has to be here for the season starter or else he's going to lose, incur even more fines and lose a whole year of eligibility, you know, of, you know closer to free agency, and they can still keep him right at the number he's at. Um, if they choose not to get Dak Prescott done in the next two weeks and risk Dak Prescott literally going out in free agency, you would either be risking paying even more for him than $60 million, or literally having no quarterback side whatsoever. Remember all of these things as we sit here. When we get to the end of the season and we're short players, like last year when we lost Overshone in training camp, and that would have been the time to say, let's find another linebacker. Instead, they waited until the trade deadline, and we're looking at broke down guys that are unemployed. And then having to go the season without any linebackers on the roster. Remember, it's not Dak Prescott. It's not Michael Parsons. It's not CeeDee Lamb. These are all things that point right back at Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones. That they're penny pinching and being cheap. It's just crazy. Mind you, at the moment we have $28 million because C.D. Lamb's $17 million isn't on the books. But if they just gave him Justin Jefferson's contract, we'd still have $20 million to work with. This is where it's crazy, guys. When they get C.D. Lamb done, watch. It's going to be a bad contract. It's not going to save them shit. And we'll have wasted more and more time again with one of our players. Yep. Remember, Jerry Jones. All right, good people. Remember, good people. Remember. Tell the people you love how much you love them. You might not get the chance again, and I love you guys. Peace out.